morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. And welcome to Holy Rosary Church, my own mother of God parish. As we continue now to celebrate the sacred mysteries of our faith, honoring especially today, St. Maria Goretti, Virgin and Martyr. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Thank you. Let us call to mind our own faults, failings, and sins, and ask God for his most gracious and most abundant mercy. You sent to heal the sorrowful in heart, and so we ask, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to give hope to sinners in darkness, and so we ask, Christ, have mercy. Christ, and you plead for eternal redemption before our Heavenly Father, and so we ask, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, author of innocence and lover of chastity, who bestowed the grace of martyrdom on your handmaid, the Virgin Maria Goretti, in her youth, grant we pray through her intercession that as you gave her a crown for her steadfastness, so we too may be firm in obeying your commandments. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the course of the night, Jacob arose, took his two wives with the two maidservants and his 11 children and crossed the fort at Jabbok. After he had taken them across the stream and had brought over all his possessions, Jacob was left there all alone. Then some men wrestled with him until the break of dawn. When the man saw that he could not prevail over him, he struck Jacob's hip at its socket, so that the hip socket was wrenched as they wrestled. The man then said, let me go, for it is daybreak. But Jacob said, I will not let you go until you bless me. The man asked, what is your name? He answered, Jacob. Then the man said, you shall no longer be spoken as of Jacob, but as Israel because you have contended it with divine and human beings and have prevailed. Jacob then asked him, do tell me your name, please. He answered, why should you want to know my name? With that, he bade him farewell. Jacob named the place Peniel, because I have seen God face to face, he said, yet my life has been spared. At sunrise, as he left Peniel, Jacob lipped along because of his hip. That is why, to this day, the children of Israel do not eat the sciatic muscle that is on the hip socket, inasmuch as Jacob's hip socket was struck at the sciatic muscle. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm, In justice I shall behold your face, O Lord. Hear, O Lord, a just suit, attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. In justice I shall behold your face, O Lord. From you let my judgment come. Your eyes behold what is right. Though you test my heart, search ye get in the night. Though you try me with fire, you shall find no malice in me. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee from their foes. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. I, in justice, shall behold your face. On waking, I shall be content in your presence. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. A demoniac who could not speak was brought to Jesus. And when the demon was driven out, the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He drives out demons by the prince of demons. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them, because they were like troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. And he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. I think this was a prediction of maybe the 21st century by our Lord. We have many people, almost two billion people in the Catholic Church, but we have lost so many of our servers, particularly our priests and our religious. There's not many of us more left to go around. And as I've always said, you know, in my senior years now, I'm not afraid to die. But what does concern me is that who's going to take my place? We don't have anybody. We ordained one priest last Saturday for a diocese that serves a quarter of a million people, over 250,000 people in the Diocese of Granton in our 11 counties. And the predictions are even more dire than that. They say within the next 10 years, from when I was ordained a priest, we had nearly 500 priests serving the Diocese of Scranton. They predict that we may have about 10 years from today or less, maybe 48. The harvest is rich, it's abundant. The laborers are few. There are lots of reasons for this. Partly our own faults and failings too in the church. But again, the secular society in which we live totes, you know, success by means of wealth and power and influence, not by the simple, humble accessoration to the will of God for his people. Saint Maria Goretti was an example of a laborer who gave her life rather than spoil her virginity. And she was ordained, or, or she was uh, uh, crowned a martyr in 1950 to sainthood, and it was one of the largest att- attendants of of a, a, a um, an ascent to, to sainthood that the crowds have ever seen in history. And she remains today the Uh, patroness of teenage girls. There's a lot we can say here as Jesus went about the various villages and so forth to teach and to preach and to drive out demons and to heal and to raise the dead and so on. (coughs) He received a lot of opposition for his work from the Pharisees. Those who were supposed to be the leaders of the people of Israel, the religious leaders of the people of Israel. They thought he was taking their ruffles and flourishes away from them. And people were looking at him to see 
the hand of God at work among his people. Well, the hand of God is at work still today, 2021. But many of us, unfortunately, don't see it. But he works today. He is calling many, many people to service, not only in the church, but to service as Christians in the world to continue to build the kingdom of God. But many of us, unfortunately, seem to be attracted by other desires, other uh, points of uh, what we feel is acceptable, other vocations that will bring us what society expects of us to be healthy, wealthy, to be wise, to be uh, doing everything except the word of God and the will of God. So today then we are asked to pray, pray that the laborers will heed the message that God is bringing to many of our young people. And that's something we can do in our own senior age, pray that the laborers will be listening and by, with their hearts, not just with their ears, but with their hearts to the call of God to come and help take care of his people, to preach the word, to celebrate the sacraments, to bring people closer to their salvation as we hope and pray that will happen. May I invite you to stand now and together let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord. Our response this morning, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that she may stand as a living witness to the truth and freedom found in Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation, that God may continue to guide all creation in his loving care, making us people of peace and blessings to others on this earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially for Joseph Brennan, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our young people may stop and listen to the word of God spoken in their hearts to come and follow him and to help others to approach the gates of heaven for their salvation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother for her intercession. Hail Mary. Full of grace, grace the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, to humble himself, to share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands and made, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer, for the divine work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. And Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Let us stand and pray that your sacrifice and mine today 
may bring many others to the service of the Lord and his church, and that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the offerings that we bring in celebration of Blessed Maria Goretti win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle for her suffering and passion was pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of the blessed martyr Maria Goretti, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth the marvelous works by which in your weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness to Christ our Lord. And so with all the powers of heaven we worship you constantly here on earth, and before your majesty without end we all acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, like to do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, handed it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we are gathered into one in the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church bread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of, raising, the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her devoted husband, St. Maria Goretti, and all of the apostles, martyrs, and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, give us to be, always be free from sin, protect us from all distress, and await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave, and my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you this morning. Let us offer to one another and to all the world the peace of the living Christ.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we this morning, we're called to the supper of the Lamb. My roof. But only say the prayer. Let us pray. For God who bestowed upon blessed Maria Goretti a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant we pray through the power of this sacrament that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the 
Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go into peace and love of Christ.